Hey there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter Reborn. Last time we basically just got started. This time I am immediately buying the radar and we're going to go hunt some more dinosaurs on this map, the Great Forest. But first, uh, some other items. You can upgrade yourself. Though I don't have nearly enough to do any of that. You can upgrade the mist. You can upgrade the weapon. And uh, here I accidentally went to the shooting range, but... Uh, I was going to try to show this off eventually anyway, so... Aim for the red spots, they are the vulnerable zones. And they are stegosaurus-shaped targets, because of course they are. And I am screwing up already. Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, as I said, I am bad at video games. Now, do the targets get back up? I think they might. Or alternatively, they. And even though by uh, this, by all means, I should probably be able to jump over this. Uh, for some reason, I am trapped on this little platform. But yeah, a lot of hunting games have something like this, some sort of shooting range, just to test your skills. Okay, and uh, we're gonna touch shut the ankylosaurus up. I had Anki on because I was uh, grinding for a bit of points. Though you really shouldn't need to in this game for the most part. To uh, unlock the maps, at least. Unlocking the dinosaurs, you might need to do a bit, a bit of grinding to unlock, but... Okay, now that we have the radar, dinosaurs should be much easier to find. Uh, so, yeah. Oh, there's another Pelicanomimus, which are... I don't really like the new ambiance in this game, and that's either an Anki or a Paris for all of us. Neither of which I have the license for. So I can't even take it. And whatever it is, it's running away anyways, I think. Is it? No, never mind. Oh, well, whatever it is, it sees me now. Well, it saw me there for a second. Behind this tree, and hope oh, doesn't see me again. Okay, I think I can tell from the noise that it's a para. Is that a para? I don't know. I can't tell, because I'm not in viewing range of it. It's... something. I can hear a Stegosaurus, actually. I heard a bear cry, which in this game means, means Stegosaurus. What is that? Yeah, it's a Parasaurolophus. Never mind. Ah, okay. There we go. Oh, two stegos. I don't know if I just try to if I try to go for both of them or not, but ah. Uh. If I do, then you're going to get two dinosaurs for the price of one. Even though this video will be showing you three different species on this island, because that's what I plan to do for this series, is just tackle every s species on one specific map each time. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can spot this here steggy. Okay, then. Just continuously jump. 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 Ah! I see him. Oh. Did he see me? He might have seen me. Uh, and that was a headshot, but that didn't kill him. Oh, God. Is he charging me? Well, whatever, if he was charging me, he didn't make it very far. Okay, we got this Sego. I don't know if I decide to go for the other one or not. Oh yeah, I do. And then I, just just, a, just as a reminder, I tend, uh, I will do this a lot. At, see, I did it again. Uh, 
Oh, it's dead. Or tranked, because it's not technically dead, it's tranquilized. Alright. Grab that Stegosaurus trophy. And then I proceed to take a pot shot at this tier Pteranodon. And actually managed to hit it. Wow. Yeah, the Pteranodon's gonna be a bit difficult to hit if you're not good at aiming. Now, this would be where I end this part of the video, but at the same time, I end up spawning a third Stegosaurus. I don't think I get- if I'm remembering right, though, I don't get this one. Because I do what I always tend to do in video games, I run out of ammunition. Because, you know, that just happens to me a lot. Where I will end up running out of ammo. Oh, in. Oh, you can see the little arrow there. The blinking means that it's, uh, the dinosaur can smell you. I don't think you need the beeper for that. Oh, and the little horn signal on the side there, that's the dinosaur decoy, which I've actually never used. I just never felt like buying it. Oh, there's our big boy. And, uh, as you can see, the dinosaurs tend to get stuck in the scenery at times. Kind of unfortunate. The dinosaurs don't appear to have been programmed very well, unfortunately. And, uh, oh, never mind. Got it. Okay. I guess I did get it. Oh, and you'll notice that's one of the first of many audio glitches. My gun stopped making shooting noises. It's weird. This will happen a lot where the game will just suddenly stop, uh, letting you. The game will just stop, uh,. The, the, the noise will just stop for some reason. I don't know what it is, but... Uh, yeah. So we did that. Okay. Just gotta evacuate now. And there's the evacuation beam. And there we go. So I'll see you guys in the next part of this. Okay, we're back. And now we're going to be hunting an Ankylosaurus. Uh, once again, even though the Ankies are notoriously difficult to take down. Well, not notorious, because, you know, this game's not really that famous, but... They're difficult to take down. That's what I'm trying to say. And something already spotted me. I don't think it was the Anki, because I'm not near where it's supposed to be. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. Where's our boy? Ah, I see him. Though I don't think my car- my, I saw him when I was recording this. Ah, there he is. Now, I shot, as I mentioned before, is an instant- What the hell? <laughs> oh, yeah, that happens. Sometimes. That's what I like to call the Ghost Ceratosaurus, in that- there are not supposed to be any Ceratosauruses on this map, but for some reason I kept getting ambushed by, Cerat by Ceratosauruses. Even though they're not supposed to be on this map. But yeah, first death the Let's Play. And it's in the second episode. Uh, yeah. And now you'll see the other problem with this game is that sometimes the dinosaurs don't like to appear. Sometimes they just, uh, don't appear. Ah, there we go. There's an Anki. Let's go get it. And there he is. 
Kind of a small Ankylosaurus, just personal. Aren't Ankylosauruses supposed to be really big? I'm pretty sure they're the largest member of their family. That was a terrible shot. I don't think I hit it anywhere where it, which actually would have mattered. Okay, now we gotta go chase after it. Which is just great. Still, hunting these guys is less annoying than hunting the Ankylosauruses in Carnivores 2, because dear god were those things annoying. And in general, I didn't really like the Ankylosaurus in Carnivores 2, because it kind of just sucked. It was kind of introduced in kind of a bullshit way, because it kind of was just there for the developers to say, Hey, we've got a couple new dinosaurs. Uh, the only really new ones are the two new carnivores, uh, the Ceratosaurus and the Spinosaurus. The, uh, what I was trying to do is I was trying to go for an eye shot there, I think, but kind of difficult on these guys. Yes, I know it sees me, unless the beeper's going off or something else. There's a hint in this game that shooting at the stomach is more recommended when killing this guy and killing Yankees, but... Mm. But, uh, that can be a bit difficult to do. And despite the fact that I used the Tranquilizer, the thing is still bleeding. And there's another... That's probably just for gameplay purposes, though. But, anyways, Carnivores 2, the Ceratosaurus, and the Spinosaurus were the only really new, new dinosaurs in that game, because the, uh... The Ankylosaurus was technically new, yes, but it sucked, so no one liked it. Uh, whereas the, uh, Chasmosaurus, huh, that thing was just terrible. Really, what the Chasmo was was just a reskinned Triceratops, was just a new model for the Triceratops. Which sucked, because the Triceratops, no one was complaining about the Triceratops from Carnivores 1. And before you say, well, no, it can't technically be that. No, the Chasmosaurus in Carnivores 2 is literally just a new version of the Triceratops from Carnivores 1, because they literally have the exact same AI. You can just use the Triceratops from Carnivores 1, and the game won't even give you any bugs. It's not like with the Anki, uh, trying to replace him with the Packy from the first Carnivores. They actually do have different, they have different AIs, so... Oh, and there's some crates just lying about here, and a Stegosaurus. Which I can't even shoot at, because I don't have a... Well, I can, but... I won't really get anything out of it. Oh, he's right there! Hello. Hello. That didn't do anything. Um, and before you ask, why is the Ankylosaurus immune to bullets? Um, there was actually a study done on the armor of the Ankylosaurus. Which found that Ankylosaurus' armor was as tough as Kevlar. Which is the stuff they used to make bulletproof vests. So, yes, in real life, Ankylosaurus would have probably been able to survive if you shot at it with a gun. That wasn't like an armor-piercing round or something. Um, just a standard gun like this probably would, would do jack shit to it if you shot it in the armored sections. And I don't think I get this Anki. I think this is the one where I actually fuck up and don't manage to get the trophy. Or is it? Do I manage this with my last shot? Nope. And now he's just waddling away. Well, you're out of ammo. Hold X, stay back. Yeah, I, I got that. I kind of get that game. You didn't need to tell me. I, I could have figured that out on my own. Oh, and just to add salt to the wind, there's another Ankylosaurus nearby. Okay, where's the evac thing? Oh, really? It's landing over there? Oh, that's perfect. There's a pair of Ankylosaurus over there. And despite what the game says, just because the game says that the Stegosaurus and the Parasaurolophus are not dangerous, yeah, the game's lying to you. They are. They can kill you. The Anki can kill you too, but the game at the very least has the courtesy to say, yeah, that thing can kill you. But yeah, that's two out of the three species on this island. We'll go take out the third one in the next part of this video. So, see you in a second. Okay, we're back. And now we're gonna go hunt a Parasaurolophus. Now, in the original Carnivores, these guys were pretty damn annoying to take down because of how fast they were, and the fact that they weren't big. Uh, they weren't really big targets, so... Uh, taking them out was not nearly as easy as it could as, uh, say, the Stegosauruses. Because uh, in the original Carnivores, those were, and Carnivores 2, and the iOS game, they were basically, those were basically the ones I used for grinding. Because they're big. In the first Carnivores, they have a really obvious weak spot, which is the head. Uh, 
they they're fast but they're so big they're such big targets that you're probably gonna be able to kill them before they can get far enough away they're not particularly strong either like in the ios game i considered grinding using the amargosauruses but uh it turns out the amargos are a bit too um bulky to really be taken out easily they take quite a few hits whereas uh, the stegos are a lot easier to kill That is the roar of an Ankylosaurus. Yeah, because for some reason, again, the Ankylosaurus just makes stock monster sound effects. But yeah, the Paras in the first Carnivores and Carnivores 2 were the first herbivore you could hunt. Though, I never knew anyone who chose them as their first target. Uh, always, always, uh, you go for the Stego, because the Stego is so much easier to take down. The Para, I think you'd wait a little bit until your hunting skills are a little more refined. Uh, and no one ever hunted the Ankies or the Packies as their first, because the Packies are both basically have the same problem in that they're really fast and they're really tough to hit. And uh, their one weak spot is kind of hard to hit as well. The Packies' weak spot is like its neck, I think, which can be a bit difficult to hit when the thing is moving so fast. And the Ankies' weak spot, it doesn't have one. It, its head is technically the weakest area of the the body, but even then, that can't you can't one shot it because they removed the target zones in the sequel. Uh, but we've managed to come across our much more accurate looking Parasaurolophus. Actually, I really like the Parasaurolophus model in this game. Actually, it's pretty nice. I think it's one of my favorite uh, Parasaurolophuses I've seen in a video game. Way better looking than the one from the first game, though. The first game's Para. The first game and its sequel's art style was kind of inspired by those old uh, dinosaur paintings by Zdenek Burian, uh, which is the reason I don't really mind the inaccuracies. That and they're aliens, so... Uh, it's... Uh, I don't really mind the inaccuracies in Carnivores. Carnivores is one of those few games where it's like... few things in media where it's like the inaccuracies I'm willing to forgive because... Uh, they try at least to explain it because the dinosaurs aren't really dinosaurs, they're aliens. That are also dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, okay, carnivores makes no sense, story-wise. Oh, shit. Did it see me again? Look, hunting these things is pretty difficult, though. Because they're quite fast, as you can see. They also... They don't take many hits to take down. But... They're they're pretty fast, is the main problem. But I think I crippled that one, because it's, it's gonna... Yeah, it fell. Good. All right. Nope, nope. Uh, when my brother played this game, I let him play it a little bit, because he said he wanted to try it. Uh, his first thing, when he first hunted a para, the first thing he did was it ended up charging him and killing him. Which I had never seen before, because I- none of the paras I've ever hunted, and I hunt a lot of them during this Let's Play, because... The paras are basically your cash cow dinosaur for this game. Unlike, uh, the first Carnivores game, the original Carnivores trilogy. Not trilogy, the first two, because where the Stego was the cash cow, because it was easy to kill, gave a decent amount of points, and, uh, wasn't too ch and, uh, wasn't too challenging to hunt down, uh, in on Moss. These guys, this game, however, it's the Paras. They're, um, they're really easy to kill. They, they spawn pretty frequently in the maps where they appear, and they are, and, um, they give quite a few gems. Like, that one gave me 17, which, at this point, the, the Stegos are giving you, like, 5. And I spent a few seconds here trying to take out these pterodactyls, but ultimately I just say, screw it. But, uh, yeah, that's the end of this part. We'll see you guys in the next part of Let's Play Carnivores Reborn. Bye bye